What is going on family? It's like noon. I'm having my first meal of the day right now preparing to go to the gym. I'm currently having some chicken, baked maple beans, and then I got a little Caesar salad on the side. A little bit of carbs in there, a lot of protein, some salad on the side, trying to, trying to keep it tight. I'm actually tightening up a lot lately. So in the next video, I'm gonna have to give you guys a physique update. I don't really want to give you guys a physique update after I just eat this full meal. So I'm going to use the excuse today that I'm going to have to wait to the next video. But anyway, I'm over here fueling up, watching some Russ Swole. He's like one of my favorite YouTube channels right now in fitness. Other than like the fam that I have, there's actually not a lot of people that I watch on YouTube. But Russ is definitely one of those guys that falls in that category. So he's pulling some heavy ass weight. So he's got me hyped to go in the gym right now and smash this pool day that I'm about to go through. I'm just going to go in put the headphones on, get the full workout for you guys. Kind of just take you guys with me through the workout because I think today I'm actually going to head to a gym that I haven't had to on the channel before. It's the gym that Jeff and I film our Technique Tuesdays at. Um, usually they allow us to film. I'm not sure how busy it is there right now. Usually there's like 10 people there max. So on a good day you go in there, there's like four people in there. So put the headphones in, zone in. We are now 17 weeks out from the show, so I feel like every workout I do is gonna make a difference. So from now on, I'm just going in the gym, giving it everything I got. So that's exactly what I'm about to do today. Do a couple things on my to-do list, and then we're gonna head out. So as I was saying earlier, I've actually never worked out at this gym that I'm going to now, but it's usually a pretty dead gym. So the main thing I'm worried about right now is that Jeff actually kind of got the pass all set up. Cause I do have a key card from the last time I had like a month membership or something like that, but I know that's expired. So I don't know if it's like connected. So I don't really want to be at the front desk the whole time trying to get this figured out. I'm trying to like, you know, just glide straight through the front door. So hopefully it works out. All clear for this pull workout right now. First thing on the menu we started out with was a one-arm lap pull down. That was a two by 15 to 20 RPE5. Pretty much like a lightweight mind muscle connection warm up exercise to kind of get us into the routine of our remaining back exercises here. So next thing I'll be doing is a lap pull down, four by six to eight, super heavy weight here, RPE8. So should be, should be pretty good. It's my favorite exercise on back, so should be a good one. Bounce back with a million Hit her out of like Gilligan Not yes. just a regular civilian I rap on the squad, I'm a champion Remember we hit up the highway We got a stash spot Remember as soon as we touch down They cash out and I think my headphones are dying. So I'm like slowly increasing the speed of this workout right now, but still gotta keep my rest times optimal. Still gotta make sure I'm hitting everything to my full potential. But the next thing we're gonna move on to is some upper back work. So I think I'm gonna do some one arm kind of cable rows for the upper back. Three sets of eight to 10. Today I am running first pull day of the week in my program, but I'm kind of switching out some exercises for things that I feel like are gonna be better for my physique. So gonna get into those cable rolls and we're gonna smash it hopefully these headphones don't die i never told the world about you i never told the homies about you not once i never had no bitter towards you i never had no drama for you not once i never want to go to none of these award shows that's not me only the time would tell the day i prevail and give me a grammy so we actually didn't have one of the machines that i was looking for so no big gonna switch it out what we're gonna do is do a caber pullover i'm gonna do three by 20 and this one is more like one of those lighter exercises. It's just kind of focusing on my muscle connection. And then I'm pretty sure we start moving on the biceps. Cover this shit is so muddy, but I love it, baby. When I jump, I do it. When I hop, I do it. Then I'm fresh in the latest. I do what I want, can I smoke till I'm faded? I drink till I pass out, I wake up and drink up again. I pull up again and again. So my headphones did end up dying throughout this workout, but man, I swear this is one of the best workouts I've had in a while. I got the craziest pump going on right now. I finished out the workout with some arms. I usually do this with easy bar, but I did it with a straight bar today because they didn't have easy bar in this gym, which is no biggie, but yeah. So straight bar curls, I started out with reverse. I did 20 reps and then I'll superset that with regular bicep curls for another 15 reps. I did that for three sets total, so that was pretty killer. And then I did end it off with some hammer curls with the dumbbells. Then I actually ended up drop setting 
and last one of that too because i was just like really feeling the workout today really feel like giving it everything looking in the mirror i'm starting to lean out like slightly i know it could be in my head because i am in a deficit but i feel like i'm starting to lean out slightly i mean you guys will see that in my next physique update which i will do in the next video i think it was the muscle mayhem page posted something about it being like 17 weeks away and when i saw that i was like man it's time to dial in so ever since then i just been like super focused focus on like getting these workouts in making sure they're the best workouts throughout this prep and making sure i'm like consistently producing youtube content today my goal is to finish this vlog go home edit this vlog and then um try and get it up tomorrow the only thing that would stop me from not getting this vlog up tomorrow would be not having a thumbnail so i need to get one of the boys to help me come back here or go back to good life or something like that and get a thumbnail for this vlog and then i'm gonna get this vlog up for you guys because you know we're trying to produce this content i actually think i'm gonna meet up with patty list pretty soon i don't know why i call him by his instagram name but we're gonna meet up talk about everything as far as protocol and how fast i should be cutting stuff like that making sure that i'm on the right track so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me i'm not sure where i'm meeting him but we'll see how that goes eddie i can't even see you man you look kind of black right now everything looks black oh, right that's now your cousin right here. <laughs> what we got david boy working hard white people left I don't know, man. I don't know. I called up Pat. He just so happened to be coming to the gym right now. Since we're trying to get this video up tomorrow, like I said, the only thing that would be stopping me from putting it up would be getting a thumbnail, which I never have. That's why most of my videos go up late, because I don't have a thumbnail, man. I need more friends. Suck like, you yeah, more thumbnails. I'm gonna start calling up David, but. All right, I got you. Yeah, so. <laughs> what I did want to talk about why I do have Pat here is how fast you should be losing weight a week when doing prep. Uh, currently, right now, I'm like writing all of my macros, kind of like tweaking things myself. Um, as we start getting close to the show, maybe like 16 weeks out, which I think is like next week, I'm gonna have him start taking over. And um, I've been trying to make sure I haven't been like handing him off anything shitty. So I've been trying to make sure I've been, you know what <laughs> I mean? Point. On point. How much weight do you recommend losing a week when you're prepping? So if you want to go at a perfect rate, you want to go at 1% per week or 1% body weight per week, and that's gonna ensure maximum muscle retention. As you get closer to the show, uh, you wanna slow that rate down because um, the leaner you are, the easier it is to lose muscle. So what we wanna do is slow that down, and if we are ready early, I would like to do a test peak week and hopefully feed into the show. Mm -hmm. So with that said, depending on how much time you have, most people are gonna to have to move a little bit faster than the 1% uh, body weight per week just to make sure you can dial in at first and then tighten things up as we go through. Simple as that, man. This is the man with the massive plan. So we go. it's been super easy. Like my metabolism is fast. Obviously you guys know I'm a taller, leaner guy. So like I kind of throw off weight fairly easy. It's harder for me to gain weight. So honestly, I just been trying to make sure I'm not losing too much a week and um, but not too little because I did kind of go a little overboard on the bulk so i'm gonna end the video off right here if you guys are new join the crew subscribe to the channel leave this video a like before you leave and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video